Hey horror gamer buffs are everywhere, Harry Thomas here and welcome ladies and gentlemen to part uh, 8 uh, of uh, my Until Dawn playthrough and uh, we are entering the part of the game where things are getting hot so now we know uh, that Josh was the psycho so uh, uh, I think uh, uh, we are about to see horrors that are come in this game that we can scarcely imagine as we're about to find out the true threat and what really took Jessica down to the mines. <laughs> Chapter 8 Revelation. Also, so he is on her size. I, I knew it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Use these, okay. I think he was saving our lives from shit. the monster that was coming after us. Maybe they're the exact same monsters he's been fighting with that flamethrower all this time. Well, now we know the, the, the main threat of this game isn't Josh, so we're finally going to get some answers. Now let's get Emily back to the lodge so the, the others uh, can know as soon as possible and get the fuck off this mountain. I know Josh didn't intentionally send her them to their doom, he only meant for this to be a prank on them, but yeah. Oh, here it is. Enter the gap. This is gonna be the way. Da! Emily, run! Okay, prepare for the quick tie events. Woo, that was close. Would have taken her head off if we missed that. Oh, oh, she. Oh God, Z zombie golem? What? Go right. Oh Jesus! At least we have, we finally know what they are. Jeez, how on earth did they come to be? <laughs> Maybe the flavor guy has the answers about their backstory. Okay, Emily, stand perfectly still. Don't move. Technically, Emily's not the first character to encounter the monsters. It was Jess when they took her from the cabin, remember? I just pray Jess survived. Yes. Nice one, Emily. That'll keep them occupied. And get the gasoline ready. Yes, set it alight. Maybe fire is their weakness, their kryptonite. <laughs> okay, conveyor boat, but that leads to a meat grinder, so don't stay on that. And the time is right, jump off. Leap off. Yes, yeah, smart move. <laughs> Wait, Emily, you have the flare gun. Fire it. Use it now. Damn it, just fire. Yes. Oh, yes. oh phew. Oh, my goodness. Oh, phew. Oh, phew. Oh, phew. Yeah, had you uh, not fired or not had the flare gun, uh, she would have been bitten. So we dodged a bullet there. Oh no! Shit! Sorry! Sorry, Emily! Ooh. Oh, at least she didn't fall too far. Could have been worse. 
<laughs> Damn it, run! Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I'll be very surprised if more people don't like Emily now because she proved uh, her bad arsery there. <laughs> Let her in! Crap, what now? Oh, Josh is awake again after being knocked out by Chris. Oh, phew. Such a shame Jess didn't come back with Emily if that was a missed opportunity for them to make up in the mines. Wait, a monster? Is Mike the only one that's Emily? asking about Matt? Oh. <laughs> Josh, Jess. It's not Jess. Oh, yeah, Mike's right. It's sadly not Jess. I wish it was Jess, but it's the fling for a guy. He's come to tell us uh, everything we should have known before coming back here. Me and my pal Steve said the flingo guy looks exactly like Alistair Moody or Mad Eye Moody. Suggest. Oh. Okay. Open up the door. Ready? 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 Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got you. Oh, yeah, Mike doesn't trust Chris with the gun if you hit Josh. Oh! Come on, Mike. Oh! Uh, hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freaks. Oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Uh, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. Fun fact, so Larry okay. Fessenden, who plays the flame for a guy, is also the, the writer of this game. <laughs> Washington's would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mount don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mount belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> oh, they're called the Wendigo. Yeah, the Wendigo. Oh. Now that we have a choice, I'm only going to tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse. That dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, it was the Wendigo that Got Jess. Mike and Jess were the first to encounter them. Oh, now he feels bad for blaming Josh. Until dawn. Ah, <laughs> they said it, they said it. <laughs> I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? 
Thank you, Ashley. Chris, you're being surprisingly generous to Josh after he let you and everybody down. But, but Alistair, Flamethrower guy is right, going alone is suicide after we've seen what those monsters can do. I mean, kind of does. He 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 was a pro at that in the beginning. <laughs> hey. Ah. She finally got the courage to kiss him. It's about time. <laughs> oh, we gotta keep Ashley and Chris alive. So the love story has gotta end well. Don't worry, Ash. I'll bring him back safe for you. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. But how do you kill it? You don't like fire. I don't like fire. Also, oh, their skin is made of steel, so it can deflect the uh, bullets. But uh, but the uh, flame, but flamethrowers can uh, destroy them. So, ah, uh, I thought it was fire that was their weakness. If only, if only he had enough flamethrowers for for eight people. <laughs> kind of foolish, just bringing the one. <laughs> Well, Chris, they hunt at night because if this game took place in daylight, it wouldn't be half as terrifying. <laughs> but I think both Emily and Chris can be killed off in this chapter, so this chapter is raising the stakes, but, but we're going to save them both. We were lucky with Emily, so let's see if we can be lucky with Chris. Oh, they've taken Josh already. We're too late. <laughs> Oh, there's blood all over the floor. Fuck. Wendigo showed no mercy. Oh, did you spot Josh's fake body in the background from from his prank? It's still vest. Oh no! Oh. Oh no, they're here. Ah. No. Oh. oh no, now how are we going to survive without him? He had all the knowledge. Oh, take this. 
Chris, run for your life. <sighs> yes, yeah, spoiler alert. Flame for a guy's death is inevitable. There's nothing we could have done to save him. Oh. Damaged his leg. Now he's going to limp. Okay. Bring it on, Wendigo. Hurry. Ooh. Ooh. Epic shot, Chris. Ashley, open the door. Thank you, Ash. That happened. Ah. Yeah, had Chris shot Ashley, she would have disowned him and would have not opened the door for him. <laughs> oh, took Josh down to the mines. Well, that's funny. Why would the Wendigo not kill Josh on the spot? Funny they kept him alive, but not the others. Ex yeah. Exactly. I'll wrap up like a little present with a bow on top of that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. Yeah, Sam's right. All they need to do is right. wait in the safe room until it, right? until the help Done. that Emily called for comes. Right. You can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's well, no fine, Mike. Go. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh. Mystery tricks. Great, great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mines. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Oh, yeah. Emily has more experience with the mines than any other, that so... Key. Right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. When you go down to the mines, it's Mike, don't just... Get Josh also look for Jess because she is alive, you know. <laughs> And you befriended a wolf. Yeah, there's a tunnel mm -hmm. leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got that here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. <sighs> Shit. <gasps> you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. But my... Don't you hear what, didn't you hear what Flame for a Guy said, going alone is suicide. The more of you together, the more chance you have of making it. So, so, so are we playing as Ashley now? Ah, uh, yes we are, Ashley. I mean, killing off the flame for a guy, it does, it's literally the Dumbledore death of this game. It means our characters will need to beat the threat this themselves. Okay, we can know a lot about everything about Wendigo's in this book. Wendigo Journal. Wendigo Encyclopedia. Whatever you call it. Oh, clues found. Oh, they mimic uh, certain people through their voice. Oh, okay. Keep that in mind. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. What is it? What does it say? 
good thing we avoided Emily being bitten, or they would have thought she would have turned into a Wendigo, but but Wendigos don't don't make people one of their own by biting them. It, they're not werewolves. Which is relieving. I knew he was interrogating Josh. It's all going on in his mind. That's how much help he needs to dealing with his grief. Your friends, like his sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Now why did you hurt him? It's yourself that you despise him, huh? You've already admitted as much. They hurt me. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sister. Exactly. They never Not meant to harm you. They never meant for your sisters to, to die. Them to your night of horrific torture. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Let's hope it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. Let's see if Josh can have any redemption, even now. Well, uh, though. Those rescue helicopters had better uh, hurry uh, the hell up uh, and get their asses to Blackwood Pines to get our uh, uh, gang uh, off uh, that mountain before the cannibal uh, Wendigos uh, can uh, get them. And, and, and poor flame for a guy, we've had our first head decapitation in this game. That's when you know this game is no longer pl playing nice so well. Uh, to, to be continued in parts and not in I will see you all then.